Hi. So um, yeah, I'm making. I'm, I've had this really nice outside. It's sunny, and oh, I've been been craving like a scones or a cream tea. So when I uh, ordered the shop, um, when did it come? Sunday. I put in the um, clotted cream in the baskets. I was like, oh, they normally have a pretty good date on. So I thought, fancy with all this um, depression and misery that's around, and you just want something that's gonna give you a bit of a lift and scones, afternoon tea, cream tea, certainly, you know, imagine you're in some sort of, you know, country, lovely, you know, beautiful garden, spring, and you're in, you're sitting there enjoying the cream tea and it's just, yeah, it's, food brings lots of sort of happiness and nostalgia, doesn't it? So it's, um, yeah, why not? Um, so, scones, it is uh, the easiest thing in the world to make. Um, I've got my trusty recipe folder that I've had for many, many years. Lots of handwritten scribbles of recipes. Um, this is a recipe that was written um, out by a lady in Devon when um, years and years ago we went to a place in the Dark Valley and yeah, it was a little cafe and um, I cheekily asked for the recipe. They're really lovely light scones. Um, I've made, everyone knows how to make, well, there's millions and millions of types of recipes. Some put an egg in it, some just use plain flour, cream of tartar, um, uh, bicarb of soda, but um, mainly it's self-raising flour, baking powder, um, milk and eggs, basically, in various kind of quantities, measurements. So in here, I've got self-raising flour. I'm getting quite low now on self-raising, so I need to go out to the shops and get some at some point. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the stocks will be um, replenished at some point. Um, I was lucky to get plain flour yesterday, but they had no self-raising, so um, we will see. We've, I've literally got, I'm down to my last 500 grams, so that's, that's, that's desperate measures. <laughs> so we've got in here a pinch of salt and some self-raising flour, so that's 16 ounces. This makes quite a lot of scones. Um, and into here I've got I've got some soft butter I've got a mixture of what I already had out of some like normal butter like Kerrygold butter um, and um, it was stalk um, or the equivalent because they didn't have stalk actually it was utterly buttery it's a, another um, tub margarine basically um, so yes yeah, six ounces so we're doing the rubbing in me method um, really really easy to do and these take in the oven you need quite a hot hot oven for this about sort of um 12 minutes um keep an eye on them because they um catch quite quickly especially in my oven's quite fierce so um yeah you're literally just doing the rubbing in method like you would with any scone so you want to incorporate all of the fat into the flour so it sort of um, makes kind of fine breadcrumbs kind of consistency don't be too precious over it just get it done okay almost there you just don't want to leave any flour um, that's not been incorporated with the butter. Almost here. So I had to just my battery signal just flagged up there <laughs> as you're wondering what I was doing. Uh, right, um, okay, so that's it. Um, and then, a very slapdash kind of recipe this is, a few shakes, whatever that is, of baking powder. So that's probably around about a teaspoon. You know, but you don't want too much, just be careful with that, because actually you would taste that, and it's not very nice when you taste baking powder and things. You can always tell if something's been overdone with baking powder. So into my bowl now. Um, I've got two eggs. That I'm just gonna crack in. So that's all of your dried ingredients. And 
roughly whisk these. Um, some milk, she didn't say how much, but just enough, a splash. Don't want too much liquid. And you want to save some of this liquid, a very small amount at the end, to brush over the top. So you've got a nice uh, glaze on that. So I'm just gonna measure out now my sugar. So three ounces of sugar. going in because you want them to be nice and sweet some recipes don't have sugar in it's you know it's entirely up to you you could at this point you could add some sultanas um, you know any dried fruit really if you wanted something like that in your scone sultanas in your scone is quite nice we quite just like the plain ones really because you can have you know the, the jam and the cream just keep it simple nice cup of tea can't go wrong right Okay, so now it's incorporated. Make a bit of a well um, and pour in the liquid. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit for the top now. Um, so as you're, you can do this with a palette knife if you want. Um, I do sometimes do that. Because basically you don't really wanna overwork it. You don't wanna touch it too much. You just wanna bring it all together. And that will make a nice light scone. Um, if you start overworking, you start um, releasing all the kind of um, the gluten strands. Um, not releasing them, you know what I mean. Activating them. Um, so you, you're like bringing it together like you would pastry basically you've got to use a bit of pressure to keep it sort of squeeze it together um, and that's pretty much it so when you have like a when you've got the bowl that's clean <laughs> wash your hands Alice quickly okay so that's it that's your scone that's your dough um, so I'm literally just going to, you don't need to rest this dough, not like you do pastry. Um, you can roll it or not roll it, it's entirely up to you. Um, I sometimes roll it, sometimes I just pat it. So you want, you want quite a thick, um, let me see what I'm doing here. You want quite a thick um, thickness of dough rolling out. <laughs> Um, you don't want them too thin, not like you're doing biscuit or pastry, so you want a decent, you want a, you want a good sort of, you know, half inch I would say. Um, so start cutting them out basically. There you go, look at that. So you like the sort of the slight lamination there you've got of the, that's going to rise in the oven and it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be so light and fluffy. So I'm just going to start putting them on my, my baking sheet now, keep going use up all the dough. Now with my egg and milk wash, I'm just gonna brush the top. And how easy is that? That is the easiest thing in the world to do. They're gonna be amazing, really, really nice scones. Give them a go.